Hi, I'm Dr. Ashley Bautendorf. I am the education strategist here at Lamster. That means it's my job to understand our curriculum, develop our curriculum, um, make sure we're meeting learning standards, make sure the quality of our content is meeting learner and educator needs. Um, and in that space, I'm still an active professor. So I still know a lot of those pains and I love being the voice of the educator um, in this space. And, and I wanna to talk to you about one of the main things our students often struggle with right now is engagement. And that can be really difficult um, in a gateway course where they're coming in off of their fresh summers. That can be difficult in um, um, adult education where they're returning after a long break from, from the traditional classroom setting. And it can be really difficult online where the students are in their own space and having to hyper-focus on something where their world is still going on around them. So. This is what Labster is for. This is what we develop our product for. This is what we, we make sure we're meeting so that students anywhere in any space um, at any point in their education path um, can feel motivated and um, feel like they're progressing in their education. So in that way, we, are, we have um, over 300 simulations. They're interactive laboratory settings, experiments, problem solving, observing, practice, with their 3D. So you're in that space, you're completely immersed and you're experiencing what that lab would be like or what coming into um, a marine biology situation might end up being like. So there's a lot of scenarios that allow students to experience uh, spaces that they might not be able to. We focus on mastery-based learning. So students progress through the simulations um, by answering questions. So we know that they know what we hope they've gotten to at that stage. Um, and then they uh, move to their next step in that knowledge scaffolding. What I'd like to show you today is one of our new simulation types. It's a practice activity because it really highlights what we're trying to do as far as motivating students um, to, to build confidence in, in the skills they're gaining. Um, if you are unfamiliar, we employ game designers here so that every student feels like they are a part of a fun and engaging activity. There's intrinsic motivation built in, both in the environment, in the way we scaffold the learning, in the way we use game design elements to, to guide your, the students to their end goal. So I'd like to show you one of our practice activities, balancing equations. Um, I like this one so much because it's a um, it's a match situation and students immediately, no matter where they are, no matter how much their confidence is, math always makes people good and secure. Um, and I love balancing equations um, because this is chemistry, so it's math in, in it basically straight into the science. What you see first here is our friendly Dr. One. Dr. One is the mentor, the guide, the instructor, um, there to help answer questions for the students, give them the information they need and, and let them know what's happening. You can see we have four levels here, one a tutorial, so students can remind themselves of what they're supposed to be doing, learn how to interact with the, with the setup. There are three other levels. Level one, we're gonna guide you in real simple. You can see there's visual aids that can show you um, what you need to answer, how you can uh, manipulate the number of, of molecules you can get the answer wrong and you'll get immediate feedback in a, in a kind supported way <laughs> that shows you different ways to think about how you might answer that question. You go through up to 20 of these, but if a student is comfortable, they can go ahead and move forward to their next level. The next level is opened by reaching 70%. So a student still needs to reach some sort of mastery of the, of the of the number of questions they've answered to move to the next level. Level two gets really exciting because you can choose to turn off your image, your visual aid support here. So students have the freedom to decide whether or not they need that support or not. Try it without, try it again with if needed. Um, and then you can move on to level three. And in level three, we have a nice setup where it's just you and the questions you're gonna see displayed exactly how you might see them in an exam or a, a, at the beginning of a lab report or in a textbook. And that's really where a student has the opportunity to show. 
Now you can see that you have accuracy and best attempt. Accuracy just means the number they get right, but best attempt is where we ap appeal to those students who really enjoy the challenge, right? They can get those stars. You only need one star to move to the next level, but you can come back and play as many times as you want to try to get all three stars. But we're also catering to those that just wanna get it, show they know it and move to the next level, get the challenge and keep going. So. Any student can come back as many times as they want to play over and over again until they have the confidence they feel they need to, to take this into an exam or into the lab um, and move forward. Now, of course, you as the instructor want to follow along with how your students are doing. So we have um, a, a dashboard that will give you all of this information. How many times a student has attempted uh, a level or uh, a question in our traditional um, in our other simulation styles? Um, you can see their best attempts, how many times they've played. So you'll be able to track the kind of information you need to be able to have those um, guided conversations with the student about where they need to improve, right? And to better improve your teaching if you want to use it that way as well. You can see where maybe the students that year didn't quite get it and you might wanna change the setup or reinforce it again. So it's a really good tool both for the students and for yourself and as the educator to, to improve upon that. Those dashboards have been highly used. And so far we know students are really enjoying Labster and it's working. We get great feedback like, this helped me stay engaged longer. I could do this for a while. From balancing equations. Another comment is like a video game and that makes it more fun. We want to be fun. And my personal favorite, I used to think I was bad at this, I wish I knew balancing equations was so easy when I was doing it in high school. We love hearing this feedback and we strive to build content that drives confidence, that incites curiosity and really builds competency and mastery both in theory and in skills across hundreds of simulations in our catalog that can really help prepare your students for their future careers. Thank you. Sure.